here we are back with D6566. Wait a minute, I thought we'd already been with her. Well, I thought putting one diesel at the front and one diesel at the end was good. However, the West Somerset Railway have had a brainwave and they've put a double header. But it's not steam, it's a diesel double header. Yes, 33002 Sea King, courtesy of the South Devon Traction Group, which is part of the South Devon Railway, is on the rear of D6566. Both of them, though, are Class 33s. I'm not going to even explain where we are. You already know. Here we are waiting for a green signal outside Blue Anchor. Can you see what's in the other platform? That's right, it's 5509. The glorious Delta. Or is it? Find out later on. decided to get the train earlier than their train which meant that they were standing there with their mouths wide open wondering why they were going straight through watch it it was announced that the Waverley people needed to get on the train after this which did actually stop at watch it uh, Willison station um, I've been here all three days, so um, I'm very familiar. Um, as you probably know, on Thursday, D7017 Class 35 Harmet broke down. But what you can hear is that just now they've gone and put it onto the train heading towards the mine head. So that will probably go once my train has departed. And yeah, I'm still trying to save battery, but there. As you'll be able to see, as soon as our train departs, they've managed to hook up D7017 and, along with D6575, is now forming a double header loco train service towards Minehead.
right at the very end at Washford of part one and at the very start of part two, also at Washford, I'll explain that I'd be trying to travel on every single diesel locomotive here. Well, except for D6575. Okay, so I'm now at Willerton. Luckily, charging points, yay! And it seems to be working pretty well. That's lucky, isn't it? Thanks, Willerton. Um, but anyway, since the four minutes ago when I was filming, it started raining, uh, it looks pretty heavy. So, uh, don't expect much filming at Norton Fitzwarren, which is our next destination. Basically, what's happening is that there was a big party, which is why the train, uh, the last train we were on two up my head from watch it it's really busy it's the waverly party whatever that is now that's really busy but they're getting off at washford or watch it i don't know which one it is somebody said both but um yeah they're getting off in between uh washford and uh wherever this is willison uh which means that after watch it that train will hopefully be a bit quieter which means i'll be able to make my way to uh bishop's lydiard and then uh, a train that I have not been on will do its thing. D4107. Ah. Seems I forgot to check what the last train I went on was. There was 3302, and I don't know what the next one is. I'm going to have to look in the clip, aren't I? God, right, see you later. Bye. Oh, yes, as well as the Western, I managed to go inside of the cab of D7018, one of the broken Hymex, and they are absolute junk. Courtesy of the Waterman Heritage Railway Trust thing, here we can see D7659, a class 25, arriving back into Willison on its return service to Minehead. Here is my train arriving into Willerton to take me to Norton Fitzwarren. Once again, it is D9551. But we've already been on this train as well. Well, we find out why I'm heading on this train at Bishop's Lydia. However, as for now, enjoy some more sights and sounds of this lovely little shunter.
Here we are departing Stagumba. This time we are actually on a stopping service, unlike this morning on the first train of the day, where it skips Stagumba. Poor old people of Stagumba. They must have been so upset when they saw the train go by. Or were they? Anyway, as you can tell from all the very quickly speaking people, because once again I've decided to do a bit of magic editing and speed up this last clip the train was very very busy because once again it was the two coach dmu train Here we are arriving back into Crocombe Heathfield. Here we can see the station being used as a passing point as the other small little shunter, D9526, on another service also going towards Minehead.
Here we are arriving back into Bishop's Legion, where we can see the two Class 33s, this time Sea King being at the front end of the train, whilst the other Class 33, D6566, being behind, pulling the massive rake of coaches. This train is soon going to be departing on the 1530 zones, also heading to Minehead.